All right, well, we'll try this with the camera on my head again. Wanted to do this the other day, but of course, <sighs> life got in the way. Try to do this where we can see what's going on. Of course we can't. I'm gonna have to drag this up higher. All right, well, I always joke about we do it right because we do it twice. This time I get to do it twice because the brand new fuel pump doesn't want to develop any pressure. Or rather, it'll develop pressure for, oh, a minute, and then it'll stop. So either that thing is done, or, you know, no good right under the box, or something else is happening. But the good news is, is we've already done all this before, so it really isn't that big of a deal. Just take off your filler deck. One strap. Uh, out of the way. The other one's way to. Oh, let me get out. Go get the other one. Oh. like that, the fuel pump's down. Alright, the fuel tank's What's hanging me up here? Oh, probably Eve that thing. Let me unhook everything so I don't do ruin anything. Let's see here. Room on that. Half your problem right there is the oh. to figure this out. There's one. Fly. Can we get the tank down? Yes. Not breaking anything. All right. Tank's down. Now I'm not an expert by any means. Ugh. I can't see. 
didn't see this. But I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to just do that. So I'm pretty sure that this sending unit just is a piece of shit. But, you know, it's what you get when you get cheap. But I really didn't want to put uh, a $280 AC Delco one in here, but that's what we're going to do because we do it right because we do it twice. If I could get this damn thing unclipped, that'd be fantastic. Oh. Oh, come on, good hand. Oh, you're stuck. I love when you get gas on your hand, and then it's just cold. Come here. No, you gonna come off? Not yet. That's a problem right there, is this wiring. I cannot get this off of here. Let me get it unplugged and I'll bring it back. Alright, so I got it out. You can see I got the... Um, let me see if you can see it. The um, uh, plug here, I got it probed in there. And... What I should see on here, if I turn the key on, is battery voltage. And, hold up, you can see it, and I can reach the key. Um, there we go. And it should turn on when the fuel pump relay turns on, and then shut off after a couple seconds when it doesn't see fuel pressure. There it goes, on and then off. On, and then off. I've tried switching relays, and it's fine, so I'm saying, that pump is DOA, so it made it 250 miles and it took a shit. Oh, stay there. Come on now. This was a better idea in my head. All right, that'll stay for about a minute. All right, brand new fuel pump. Actually, I should probably get a rag. Alright, so we got a brand new fuel pump. I mean, when there's nothing, I, I couldn't get the old one to screw up, but I have a new one here, so we're just going to go for it. The other one's under warranty anyway. Figured the other gasket's only got 250 miles on it, so it's getting reused. And this goes in here like that. Alright, so we're gonna get this back on down here. Gotta get it turned the right direction, that way. And then, well, I guess I can't do this with two hands. Hold on, let's try this. Alright, so, nothing wrong with the lock ring, so I'm gonna reuse that. That just goes over like this.
push, push this down. Gas gets seated down in there. When you put the cap on. So after all that you didn't see of 10 minutes of screwing around. And when you put the lock ring on upside down, it doesn't freaking lock. One thing I don't want to forget, whenever you do one of these on here. Stupid caps out of here. Put these little quick release clips back on. They make your life really, really easy when you got to take it back off. And instead of having to get that tool on here sideways, wedge it up on there and get that push lock off of there, you clip those in and push and uh, off she goes. So we're going to uh, get this back under and see how, uh, see if we can get some uh, adequate fuel pressure out of it before we stick it all back up underneath. All right. Well. <laughs> It's back up under here. Just connect it up on the ground right away. When I turn the key on, where did I put the keys? Oh, come on. Oh, there they are. Right away when I put the key on, come over here to the gauge. It's an old cheapy, but that's already up where it's supposed to be for the most part. It spikes a little bit above that, but I can't get it off quick enough. And I want to show you when I start it and run it. So the specification on these things is between 55 and 62 that's unregulated so when it's running see them up about there there's your spec when it's unregulated so that's just unplugging the regulator there you go you're bouncing back and forth between 55 and 60 plug it back in wherever it's supposed to be at like 47 48 ish I don't know, somewhere in there, but uh, I'm thinking that other pump was just junk because it was cheap, but that's why uh, it's getting sent back, and we're going to go with that one because it's at least closer to within specification. It's not perfect, but it's back up there, so um, while I got the tank down, I'm going to do the fuel filter, even though it's only been in there a couple hundred miles. Uh, it's cheap, and it's easy to get to. And on the off chance that that old pump might have sucked some crap up, because looking at it, um, I guess there was a bit of what you can see on that. You can see on the little sock that's in there, there was obviously a bunch of shit in there of some sort. So, um, figure it can't hurt to just stick a filter in it anyways. Wasn't that expensive, so we'll put that in there. I probably, probably won't film putting the tank back up. Um, maybe, I don't know. And we're going to roll with that, and hopefully that's the end of the uh, the saga of this vehicle. So, you know.